action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Here's Hoppy now with another new story. This one is titled The Man in the Yellow Mask. California and I were on our way to Brownsville to pick up a herd of coasters, little Gulf of Mexico cattle locally known as sea lions. At the time, I was carrying a sight draft for $7,000. We meant to get a pickup crew and trail the herd back to the Bar 20 for fattening. But then something happened that drove Brownsville, sea lions, and everything else right out of our minds. Shots, California. Sounded to me like rifle shots, Hoppy. Uh, what you figure made them? Somebody out hunting? That's right, California, out hunting men. Look at that horse, that saddle. But what's happened to the rider? Figure he got shot off in his saddle? Could be. And I'm willing to wager he did. Come on, he must be down somewhere in that draw. Let's go, Topper. Get up, boy. Get up. There he is, Hoppy. I see him. Right. Who, who, boy? Who there, who? Come on. Well, he was shot all right. Dead, too. Huh. Uh, look there, Hoppy. Here comes somebody else. Uh, he couldn't be the feller that done it, or uh, I could doubt he? it. He's not carrying a rifle. Maybe he get rid of it. He could have. But in that case, I doubt it. He'd ride up while we're here. Hi there. Hi. Oh, oh. Dead, is he? Yeah. He was dead when we got here. Yeah, I, I thought he'd be. Uh, look at here, mister. If you're thinking we done this... No, no, I know you didn't. I was up over there when the shots was fired, seen the feller did it. Oh, by the way, my name is Stokes. Jared Stokes on the Circle S over yonder. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. This is California Carlson. I'm Bill Cassidy. Oh, hop along, Cassidy. That's right. Yeah, seen you when you rode through town. You know this fellow, do you? Never saw him before. Well, I did. I knew him well. He's Sam Wilkins. He's a neighbor of mine. Now, let me see here. Yeah, I thought so. It's gone. What uh, was you looking for, mister? See if Sam still had his money on him. He just sold off some of his cattle, but I see it's gone. Well, this is one more we can check off again that hombre in the yellow mask. The man in the yellow mask, did. He did this? Sure, I saw him riding away. You heard of him, have you? Yeah, I've heard of him. Seems he's been making new fellas quite a bit of trouble up this way. Trouble and killings. About time somebody put him away. That's a job you could do, Cassidy, if all I hear told's got any truth in it. <laughs> Why me? Because well, you laid umbrellas like this and by the heels of four. I sure wish you'd stay and give it a try. I wouldn't know where to begin. Couldn't trail him over this stuff. It's mostly malpai. Well, now, what if I told you where to start looking for him? <laughs> That'd be fine. But that's just the difficulty. From what I've been told, no one has the slightest idea who he is or where he hides out. Yeah. I can tell you both. You can? How come? Well, it's easy, mister. You see, he's my son. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Man in the Yellow Mask. Hoppy in California, hearing rifle shots, investigated and found the body of a local rancher, Sam Wilkins. They were presently joined by a second local rancher, Jared Stokes, who identified Wilkins' killer as the notorious outlaw known as The Man in the Yellow Mask. And now goes on to identify The Man in the Yellow Mask as his son... That's right, Cassidy. He's my own boy, Terry. I reckon you can guess how rotten I feel having to tell anyone this, but it's so all right. He's my boy. You mean the man in the yellow mask? Yeah, I got to look at him once with that mask off. 
What he really wears, you know, is a hood. Covers all his head right down to his shoulders. And call it yellow. We heard that. Well, I really don't know what to say, Stokes. If we caught him, you know we'd have to turn him over to the law, don't you? I'd expect that. He'd hang, you know. Hanging's what he's got coming to him. I raised him right. All I can figure is he's somehow gone kill a loco. Yeah, own boy or not, he ought to hang. All right, we'll go after him. Our business can wait. But you'll have to tell us where to look for him. I'll do that. See, what I have in mind is this. Ever since he was just a little button, he's had his own private hideout. Didn't even know I knew about it. And it's a good one. It's a cave he found once back up in the hill. Oh, boy. Ah, this is where we get off and walk, California. I'll leave the horses here. Think we're getting close to that cave, Hoppy? Well, if Stokes' directions were right, it should be at the base of that butte. You can see up there ahead. Come on, California. Now, let's see how good you can make out on foot. Me? <laughs> I'll do all right. <laughs> Keep your head down. Hey, don't move ahead so fast. Ah, uh, the way you were walking ain't walking at all. It's just crawling. Why, the time I tracked down Geronimo... California, I... don't be an idiot. Wait for me, you'll... Uh, wait for you up by that rock there. Ain't nobody can see me. <laughs> I... What? Oh. Hey, what? Oh, there's, there's a hole here. Help, I'm a falling. Oh, it's no. A deadfall. You all right? Can you hear me? Help me out, Hoppy. I don't know whether I'm hurt or no. Maybe, maybe I broke a leg or something. Oh, don't try to move. I'll have to go back and get my rope. Uh, all right. Uh, take it easy. Uh, I'll be with you in a second, California. Uh, there. Uh, there. Now, let's see what happened to you. Can you stand up? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm scared to try. Well, where does it hurt? Uh, I feel too doggone numb to tell. <laughs> then what are you groaning for? I ain't got nothing to do with that, Hoppy. It it just come out of me. Uh, we got to get out of here and get out as fast as we can. Uh, that yell you made was enough to wake up the dead. We're likely to have the whole county down on us. Here, I'll give you a hand. See if you can stand up. Well, I... Uh, 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 well, doggone of can't. Uh, that's good. Now, do you think you can climb that rope? Huh. I got it attached to a rock up above. Oh, you're pretty well shook up, Hoppy. Well, go ahead. Try anyhow. I'll come up behind you. I'll give you a hand if you need it, but hurry. All right, Hoppy. Here goes. Come on. There you go. You're making it all right. I'll follow you up. Come on, a little more. Uh, uh, go on it. Hard work. Uh, you need some hard work. All right, all right. I, I'm getting it. <laughs> Uh, Hoppy. Uh, what's the matter? I'm almost at the top, but I, I can't quite make it. My hands are slipping. I'll try to hold on. I'll give you a boost. Come on. Come on. There you go. Uh, uh, oh. There. Uh, that done it, Hoppy. Thanks. No, wait a second now. No, I'll, I'll give you a hand. Here. Grab a halt. You got it? Yeah. All right. Pull away. Up for the air. Oh, oh, good. Thanks. See anybody? Uh, no, no. And I've been looking all around. Well, maybe he didn't hear you. Or maybe he isn't at the cave just now. In that case, he'll give us a chance to... To do what? Uh, what? 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 Uh, nothing foolish. Careful. I had you both covered. The man and the yeller mask. I thought you looked all around. Well, well, well I did, Hoppy. He must have... You uh... just didn't look in the right place. All right, move ahead of me with your hands high, both of you. Looks as if you're going to be my guest for a bit. This is the cave you've been using as a hideout, eh? That's right. Room enough in there for you and a dozen more. So keep right on going. Doggone, you even got it lighted in here. I have a lantern over there. Okay, this is all right. Stop right where you are. And what do you think you're going to do with us? I haven't decided that yet. Kill you, probably. One thing, though. 
You can stand right where you are and I'll relieve you of your guns. Yours too, old-timer. Yeah, that's better. When I fool with rattlers, I always like to make sure they don't carry any poison. Keep on talking, Terry. You sound interesting. You call me Terry. What'd you do that for? You're Terry Stokes. You... You can't deny it, Terry. Your father identified you. So he knows. Of course he knows. That's how we found our way to this cave. <laughs> but there's something else that interests me in your talk, Terry. What's that? You try to sound so tough, but you don't sound convincing. I'm beginning to wonder if you are the man in the yellow mask. What? When a man's a killer, it gets into everything he does. His voice, his manners, everything. You don't look or sound like a killer to me. What are you doing? Get back. And if I don't, what will you do? Uh, I'll shoot. I'll shoot you. No, you won't. Give me that. Give me that gun. There. You can try to play the part of a killer unless you mean to go through with it, Terry. There's always someone just fool enough to call your bluff. You, you... Take off that hood. Let's have a look at you. I thought so. You're no killer, Terry. You're just a nice kid that got in over his head. Now, suppose you tell California me what this is all about. Well, I... Well, I... Go ahead, talk. No need to be afraid of us. Go ahead, kid. You can trust Hopalong Cassidy. You're Cassidy? You really are? I usually am. Now, let's hear what you got to say. Well, I planned all this hoping to get the real man in the yellow mask. Oh? He killed Buck Swanson, my best friend. I swore I'd get him. Well, how is this getup going to help you? I figured if I posed as the man in the yellow mask and let myself be seen once in a while, the real one would hear about it and get to wondering. I figured after he'd wondered long enough, he'd come looking for me to see what was up. I, I had a trap set for him. I figured if he did come, I'd have a good chance of nabbing him. That trap you had set up, uh, was it that deadfall California stumbled into? That's right. I put a lot of work into that deadfall, Cassidy. I don't think you'd have ever noticed it. I sure didn't, and I get aches and pains to prove it. Hey, <laughs> you weren't interested in looking. All you were interested in was showing how fast you could walk in those high-heeled boots of yours. Well, it wasn't a bad plan, Terry. I'd have been proud of it myself. So I... would I. Uh, huh? What the... There's the gent in the yellow mask. Yeah, you're quite right. I might have fallen into your trap, Terry, but unfortunately, this fool here sprung it before I had a chance. <laughs> Very fortunate. For me. <laughs> now, I don't get any notions, Cassidy. I'd advise you just to relax. Let that gun drop. Now what? Well, I'm not just sure yet, Cassidy. But to quote our young friend here, I'll probably kill you. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Man in the Yellow Mask. Young Terry Stokes had conceived a clever plan for the capture of the man in the yellow mask. There was only one thing wrong with it. Terry hadn't realized that his trap might be prematurely sprung by California Carlson. And now, in the cave that he has been using as a hideout, Terry... And California and Hoppy find themselves the outlaws' prisoners. As I say, I haven't decided just what to do with you yet. But I'll probably kill you. That is, uh... Well? I have certain sources of information, Cassidy. I happen to know, for instance, that you were heading for Brownsville to buy a herd of cattle. And have a sight draft for $7,000 in your possession. Now, uh... If you'll just put your signature to that draft... Then you'd kill me and have it over with. No, 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 not at all. In that case, I might be persuaded to let you go. Sorry, but I can't accommodate you, my friend. That money isn't mine, and I don't give away what doesn't belong to me. I could take it from you, of course. And it wouldn't be any good without my signature. Watch yourself, Terry. I'm going to give you a chance to get away. What? Here, here, that'll be enough of that, Cassidy. What'd you say to this fella? Why, I was just asking the time, friend. I'm not sure I can stay much longer. <laughs> That's very funny. You may stay longer than you'd planned. Much longer. Terry, run for it. I'm on my way. Right to the circle S. Bring back help. I'll do that. Stop! Stop! Come back here! 
Ah, you missed him. This is poor light for shooting, mister. And you're a fool, Cassidy. How do you know I won't kill you for this? Oh, I wasn't worrying about that. The way I figured, you'd like to keep us alive till I sign that sight draft. Well, you'd better sign it soon. I have much patience, Cassidy. Then you'd better cultivate it. If you're thinking Terry will come back to help you, I... Oh, he will, he will. All right, let him. You won't be here. Come on. We're going to round up your horses, and then we're going places. Hold still while I tie you. So, this is the place you call home. Nice place for a hideout. Yeah, I think so. Plenty of water from that stream over there. Good grass, plenty of fuel. No one ever comes here. I suppose you would have to tie us here, but uh, do you have to use rawhide? <laughs> I like rawhide. When it's green like this, it's nice and flexible. And when it dries, well, when it dries, it shrinks and grows good and hard. Yeah. I don't think you and your friend will be leaving here in a hurry, Cassidy. Oh, we like it here. Well, you'd better, because you're going to stay here a while. Now, let's see that sight draft you have, Cassidy. I think I'd better take care of it. Yeah, here it is. 7,000. <laughs> when I have your signature on this, I'm going to be a considerably richer man. Which will be some considerable time from now. This where you always hide out, you say, mister? Yeah, of course. Why do you ask that? Oh, I wondered. Usually when a man spends all his time at one place, there's more signs of life. Doesn't look to me like you're here much. Where do you think I stay? I don't know. That's something I'd like to find out. Yeah, you're dreaming things. Well, dream all you like. I gotta leave you two here for a few hours. Let's see how you're tied, California. Uh-huh. I reckon you'll hold all right. See that you behave yourselves while I'm gone. If you don't, you may be sorry for it. Yeah, hold still. Haven't left us much choice, have you? No, no, I reckon I haven't. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, boy, yeah. A dirty sidewinder. I'd sure like to snatch that yeller hood off in his head and uh, uh, punch him right in the nose and... and uh... <laughs> ah, you're too peaceable. I'd like to do more than that. Hmm. Uh, doggone, I'm getting thirsty already. I reckon it's cause I can't move none. And Anyway, you figure we could dip our beaks in that creek yonder, huh? If you should think of a way, you let me know. Yeah. You think we're done for this time, hubby? I do not. You're going to sign that sight draft, are you? Not at all. Then how are we going to get away? We'll just wait for Terry to get help and come after us. But he don't know where we are. Don't worry, he'll find us. Uh, But how? I left a trail for him. Uh, uh Uh-huh. You don't see any cartridges in my gun belt, do you? See? That's right. I drop one every once in a while on the way over here. I figure Terry's reaching the circle S just about now. He should find us in an hour or two at the moment. Whoa, boy, whoa! Stay there, boy. Dad, are you... Terry... Where the devil is Listen, you... Dad, don't ask for any explanations just now. Just do as I say. Huh? Casty and California are in trouble. They've been captured by that hombre in the yellow mask. I've come to get help. We ought to get about three or four of the boys... Uh, and, and... Hey, Dad, what's the idea of that gun? You're the man in the yellow mask, son. Oh, no, Dad. No, you don't understand. I, I just... I swore if I had the chance, I'd take you in. Son or no son. And I am. I'm taking you into town to hang. <laughs> Say, Hoppy, if Terry's ever going to get here, don't you think it's about time he was getting here now? Well, he should have been here long before this. I don't like it. Maybe he missed those bullets after all. Well, he shouldn't have. Any luck with that rawhide he put on you, California? Nary a bit. Doggone stuff. Just getting tighter. So is mine. I... Wait a second. This might be Terry now. Can't see who it is. He's still on the other side of those rocks. We'll see him in a minute. He... 
Oh. Yeah. Our friend in the yellow mask again. Oh, hold on. Hmm. So you got back, eh? We kind of hoped you'd uh, break your neck. Or... Then what would have happened to you? <laughs> you'd enjoy dying of thirst, would you? And speaking of thirst, how's our chance of getting a drink out of that creek? I've returned to town. I thought I'd better see to you in that sight draft first. I'll untie you one at a time, but I'll leave your hands as they are. Yeah, I got nothing to lose giving you a drink, I guess. <clears throat> You'll be first, Cassidy. Make it fast, doggone it. I'm so dry, I'm getting dusty. What are you going into town for? Another little job on tap? Yeah, it's something I think will interest you. Oh? Yeah, there you are. Now you can walk to the creek. Uh, just a minute. Uh, what's this you say will interest me? Oh, that. Well, if you're waiting for Terry to free you, you're in for a disappointment. He's been delivered to the sheriff for trial. What do you... What do you <laughs> thought talk? that would interest you. <laughs> it occurred to me it might when I saw those cartridges you dropped on the trail. Ah, uh, you know about that, do you? Of course. And disposed of them. Now get your drink and hurry up. You get yours, California, as soon as he's finished. Here. Hey, hey, stop, Cassidy. What do you think you're doing? Stop! Stop! Hold on! Hoppy, don't try it! You can't be... You're fool. How'd you think you'd get away from me, your foot, with your hands tied? Well, I could try, couldn't I? I see you're not to be trusted. Ah, uh, that's right. I'm deceitful as all get out. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Well, hello, Jared. Terry, how are you? This ain't a social call, Sheriff. I brought you the man in the yellow mask. The man in the yellow mask? Well, where is he? Right here. My own son. Your son? Well, you That's can't That's right. Mean... I suspected it for a long time. But when I was sure, I figured it was my duty to bring him in. Yeah, but somehow I can't see Terry as the man in the yellow mask. Well, what do you got to say for yourself, son? I wore a yellow mask, Sure. But all I did it for was to trap the real outlaw. And by holding me like this, you're probably condemning Cassidy to death. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't hurt to check on your story, I shouldn't think. It seems I to me... I that, Sheriff. Oh, Mr. Bailey. It seems to me you're playing a fool. Suppose mm. you check on the story as you say. What happens? He must have friends. While you're away, they break him from jail. Well, if you say so, Mr. Bailey. How come Bailey gives you orders, Sheriff? Well, he don't... Mr. I give no one orders. The sheriff listens to me because he knows that I'm honest and I work hard for what little money I have. Is that I... how you got your pants so wet? Working so hard? I've been inspecting some property over north. Naturally, I had to forge a little muddy, but as I was saying... I... That's right, mister, as you were saying. Well, hey, hop it. Come on, California. You were saying what about the little muddy? I, I was simply explaining how I got my trousers wet. I, uh... I forded the little muddy myself. That mud on your boots doesn't look to me like anything you got there. Well, what do you... Looks what... to me more like the mud you might have got from the bottom of a certain little creek I know about back up in the hills. Here's your man, Sheriff. You're looking for the man in the yellow mask. Here he is. Arrest him. Well, I protest. I don't understand why this fella should then be... Then if there's any doubt about who you are, mister, I'd suggest we search for a certain sight draft. I... Wait a minute. Get no, here. don't. Search him, Terry. Find that draft. Hold him. Hold still, friend. You aren't going anyplace. Here it is, Hoppy. It was in his side pocket. Hey, what is all this? Your man in the yellow mask, Sheriff. Hmm. And proof that I know what I'm talking about. The man in the yellow mask took that draft from me. And now Bailey, or whatever he calls himself, has it. You, you, how'd you ever get free? Oh, that was easy, mister. What did you think I took that run through the creek for? What? As you said, brawhide shrinks when it dries, but it stretches when you wet it. So I wet it. And here I am. Why, you... All right, Bailey, get going. I've been saving a cell for the men in the yellow mask. And this time I figure I got it. Now you can't do this to me, Sheriff. Well, what do you think about your son now, Stokes? Uh... Still think he's an outlaw? <laughs> well, I... I feel like an idiot. <laughs> son, if you can ever see your way to kind of excusing me, why... Oh, forget it, Dad. It wasn't your fault. I wanted folks to think I was the man in the yellow mask. Can't complain when they start to believe me. Well, you had a good idea, Terry, but next time, don't try it. Huh? Playing outlaw is a game that's played for keeps. And next time, you might not be so lucky. (laughs) 
Mighty lucky for Terry and mighty clever of Hoppy to think of taking that run through the creek and outwitting the man in the yellow mask. Trickery, being something Hoppy just can't tolerate, leads him in California into a thrill-packed story when Hoppy gets the trickster on the run in next week's tale of action, Run, Sheep, Run. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr., The Man in the Yellow Mask was written by Gibson Scott Fox, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.